but getting them to how do you do that huh do it you scrolled on this video to do it it's your boy daddy scobar drooping <laughs> So we back with another big buddy banger. You feel me? Listen. Okay, y'all see the title. Y'all see the thumbnail. We're back again with another reaction. Now, honestly, y'all, I per I really do enjoy making these reaction videos. And a lot of people, y'all be saying my reactions be funny. I just be like being real. You know what I'm saying? I don't even be gassed it up for videos. I generally be thinking these stuff in my head when I'm watching these videos, and I just say it out loud, and y'all be swearing it's the funniest thing in the freaking world. But today. We finna be reacting to some crazy animal hybrid thingies, whatever the heck you want to call them. They supposed to be like a, a, I guess it's like a mix of two different kinds of animals put together. I, maybe made in a science lab or like they forced some animals to, you know what I'm saying? But uh, we finna watch it because apparently these animals come out looking crazy or being kind of cool. But before we get into the video, hit that subscribe button. We almost had a million. We are almost at a million subscribers. So. You're gonna wanna subscribe so you can be like, I live here for me. I live here for me. Subscribe right now, like the video, and most of all, man, you see what's on my head. Super sexy. I know. You don't even got a compliment. You know what I'm about to say. You could probably say it with me. You ready? Three, two, one. Jura.com by two throw free. Bump up, say some $50 to Jura's is fire. Super sexy. They're probably the best thing you could ever have in your entire life. I'm saying, you need a girlfriend? Get a Jew rag. You need a wife? Get a Jew rag. You need somebody to like you? Get a Jew rag. You need to not be ugly more? Get a Jew rag. The answer is always get a freaking Jew rag. So go to JewRag.com. You feel me? Got some new designs coming out. Very excited for them. Also, I'm dropping my brushes soon, so y'all stay tuned for that. But without further ado, let's just hop right into this, man. Ultimate, Ultimate fact. fact. Top 20. Top 20 crazies. Oh, they, cr they created by scientists. Okay, we got this. Scientists. You know, I used to be a scientist back in the day. I don't want to get into that story because I don't want to expose myself, but let's just... Before you begin, click that like button to inspire us. So I'm going to do it. Over, I'm going to click it. Click the notification. Y'all click the like button now, too. This type of ultimate fact. They got seven they really the craziest. They're hybrids. Some of the most popular and favorite this animals is a sheep. that you encounter every day Why are you showing me some shit? man-made. These rare and unseen bizarre animals are not a new phenomenon. Many have been around for thousands okay, I don't care about none of this. Let's just... find out about Let the me see top the animals, 20 man. craziest animals created by man. The zebra. The heck is that? First created by Leopold. That is a very ugly animal, if we be honest here. Yeah. Old Waliki in 1847. Although the hybrid may have also appeared at an earlier time. After World War I, various scientists considered zebra possible. In addition, the animal could be bred on marginal grazing land with no farm infrastructure so and with ugly. minimal husbandry in huge state agricultural farms. From 1958, the work was continued by the Polish Academy of Sciences in various laboratories. During the first 16 years of experiments, a total of 71 animals were born. The first named Zubran in August. This animal was intended to become a hardy and cheap alternative to cattle. Lepon. the heck is a Lepon? That do look kind of tough though, I ain't finna hold you. That, that, that's a lion. With a, it's like the feet is like a leopard. Oh, lepon, a leopard in the what? Big brain energy. I have the big brain energy. I, this is easy, man. I feel like I'm the taking a quiz. An almost majestic. Oh, that thing is beautiful. Is the result of a I want that. meeting with a male leopard. The very first lepon was produced in India in 1910. That's Unlike fine. lions, they're good climbers. They also enjoy water, which often distresses their lioness mothers. They're also big animals about the size. I ain't no way that's what they look like. Stout bodies, but their legs are shorter, like the leopards. They eat carnivores, such as crocodiles, tigers, lions, and if necessary, they would eat another leapon. I think that they should be conserved because they are very close to extinct. By this year, there are less than 100 left in the world. How much y'all think these drones cost, man? Y'all know I got Simba, right? He basically a little leopard. I'm saying. I want a lion. I would love a Leo. A, a Leo. I would want that thing. I'm saying. You think it's. Well, it kills It kills its own race, so it'll probably kill me. You know, in life, you gotta really take risks if you wanna be happy. I'm saying. I'm, I'm willing to take that risk. A feather, what in the nutsack is that? What in the bald nut sack is that's what some that's what white people balls look like when they shave their nuts like that's what they look like. Now, not that I seen it, but that was weird. Why did I say that? 
That, that's just what I'm assuming. It look. I never see it. Like for real, I ain't never seen it. But I'm just assuming. Just watch it. Shut up. You sus. This could be the future of mass poultry farming in warmer countries, says Israeli geneticist who created this bare skin prototype. That is so the ugly. Chicken would be lower in that is so ugly. Growing and that is so freaking ugly. More likely to survive in warmer conditions, claims Avigdor Kahaner of the Hebrew University of Jerusalem. That is so ugly. He created his red skin chicken by selectively crossing a breed with a naturally bare net with a regular broiler chicken. Though his chicken is an ugly little beast, but there are obvious potential benefits not having feathers. Nutrients wouldn't go into producing feathers, and there would be no feathers to get rid of at the end. Penny. It's These horse. mixtures of male horse and a female donkey are slightly smaller than a horse, and they have thicker fur coats. They also cannot reproduce on their own, making them very difficult to obtain. Wait, what you mean they can't reproduce on their own? What does that mean? How do they reproduce then? You force force it in there? You you isn't that like that's not like that's not that's not like rape or not, but that's it's you forcing it's I don't even know. Like the mule, the henny is almost always sterile. They're similar to mules in that they're generally more intelligent than horses and more cooperative than donkeys. Both are also healthier and less expensive to feed than horses. This is a trait these hybrids get from their donkey heritage. Also, on average, they're slightly smaller than mules. Wolf dog. Man, you that's just a wolf, you idiot. Guess what two animals make up this species. They were first bred together for people who wanted to own exotic looking animals. Because they're genetic mixtures of both dogs and wolves, it's difficult to predict physical and behavioral characteristics. The United States Department of Agriculture refers to the animals as wolf dog hybrids. Rescue organizations consider any dog with wolf heritage within the last five generations to be a wolf dog. That's, In 1998, that's the just USDA a dog. estimated an approximate population of 300,000 wolf dogs in the United States, with some other sources given a population possibly as high as 500,000. Man, that's just a dog. I don't know what the heck they talking about. The beefalo. Beefalo. What the heck These is that big old fat thing? Are the offspring of American buffaloes and domestic cattle. The first accidental crossing of these species occurred around 300 years ago. But scientists deliberately engineered the specimen to help with the beef production industry in 1880. They're quite large in frame and well muscled. However, they don't have as prominent a hump as buffaloes do. They're quite resistant to disease. Their buffalo genes allow them to be harder than standard cattle. They live long and fertile lives. Not gonna lie to y'all, what the heck is this? What, like, why do you make, we got a, we got enough, enough cows. We have enough cows. We have enough, we have enough cows. This is just a big old fat cow with thick hair. Nobody wanna eat that. And remain active breeders throughout their years. Dams make very good mothers. Their beef is highly regarded for its flavor and studies show that it's lower in cholesterol and fat. Protein levels are also up to 6% higher in beefalo meat than another beef. So when are you planning to have this meat? Never. Roller bear. Born as a result of inbreeding between a grizzly bear and a polar bear. The f uh, now, how do you, okay, let's talk about this. How the heck you see a brown bear, you capture that, John, okay? Capturing it is probably hard, but it's not impossible. Capturing a white, uh, the polar bear is not hard. I mean, it might be hard, but it's not impossible. But getting them to, how do you do that? Tell me, you still on the back and push it or something? What do you tie it down and push it? Like, what do you, what do you, what do you it's mean? It's also called Pisley bear or Nanolab. It's not a subspecies of a bear. This is extremely rare in the wild. Scientists confirmed the roller bear in 2006 by testing the DNA of an individual bear, which was shot in the Canadian Arctic Zacks. Two were born in Osnabrück Zoo, Germany in 2004. One of them was a male while the other was a female. They have smaller bodies as compared to polar bear cubs, but they're bigger than grizzly bear cubs. It's primarily recognized by its creamy white fur, which is the polar bear's trait. That's the like polar bear. bear. It displays brown patches around its eye, foot and back. The amazing part is their bellies touch the ground while their rear legs are splayed. Zonky. It has Why a are you tail. breeding a zebra and a donkey? Like a donkey. Yo, what the heck the is these people? What's the point of this? Is people bored or something like that? Is people bored? They gotta be. After 12 months of pregnancy, and surprisingly, baby is able to walk within a few minutes after birth. This cute little four-legged fella is a cross between a zebra and a donkey. 
While he may be all donkey from the torso up, those striped legs scream zebra all the way. People started this crossbreeding in the 19th century Why, to breed an animal with great stamina that could be used for transportation of heavy loads. In fact, they're still used today as a working animal in some parts of the world. Zebroid. Okay, now we just take zebras and put them with anything, right? Any other zebra hybrid. Zebroid is a generic name for all zebra hybrids. There's generally no distinction made as to which zebra species is used, such as Zorse, Zebra, Zonkey, Zabonkey, Zoni. The strength what, the, the what is this a bonky? What is this a bonky? Huh? Of course, usually cover the entire animal. They usually have long manes. Zorses tend to have less muscle mass and enjoy open areas much more than the purebred. They are animated and do a lot of running when out. They can be from the size of a pony to the size of a horse. The most common type of zebroid's life expectancy is around 30 years. Mule. A mule is the offspring of a male donkey and a female horse. Horses and donkeys are different species with- Wait, a mule? What, isn't mules in the Bible? So how- So who in the Bible morphed a horse and a donkey? Huh? Noah? Huh? You put them in the wrong- On the boat- You put them in the wrong part of the boat together, huh? Okay. Different gotcha. numbers of chromosomes. All male mules and most female mules are infertile. The size of a mule and the work to which it is put largely depends on the breeding of the mule's dam. Mules can be lightweight, medium weight, or even when produced from draft horse mares, of moderate heavy weight. They are usually more patient, sure-footed, hardy, and long-lived than horses. They are also considered less obstinate, faster, and more intelligent than donkeys. Not my face. Joe. This is a hybrid of monkeys. Joe. How the heck you get Joe from a Dizo? It's a it's a Dizo. It's not a Joe. There ain't no J in there. It's a Dizo. This, this commentator is stupid. Dizo. This is the Dizo. This is a hybrid of a yak and a domestic cattle. The word Joe technically refers Joe, to a hybrid, while a female is known as a Jomo. Dizomo. Joe. Alternative romanization Dizomo. Of that names include Zhao and Zhou. Zhou. In Mongolian, Zhou. it's Zhou. called a kind I don't even know There's anymore. also the English language combination of the words yak and cow, though this is rarely used. They are larger and stronger than cattle or yak. In Mongolia and Tibet, pine eggs are thought to be more productive than cattle or yaks in terms of both milk and meat production. Freckles the spider goat. What? Professor Randy Lewis showed Adam Rutherford genetically modified goats at a farm at Utah State University, which produced large quantities of spider milk that's among the strongest substances known to man. The transplanted gene means the goat produced milk containing an extra protein, which is expected and spun in the spider silk thread. Indeed, she's an extraordinary creation an animal that could not have existed at any point in history before the 21st century. She's all goat, but she has something extra in every one of her cells. Freckles is also part spider. Wait, part spider? How you get a spider and a... Why my cat going crazy? But how you get a spider and a... Whatever the heck else to me, huh? You stick the spider in there? What's... What's... What's going on, really? In the world, what's Scottish going on? Cow. Their hair is how many type of cows do y'all need, man? Inches with a slight weight. Since their coat is double layered, their outer hair is oiled to prevent rain seeping into their skin. While the downy undercoat why is hair so flourishing? Rough and rainy Scottish winters. These cute Scottish cows have quite small teats with well formed udders, and this combined with their milk's high butterfat content ensures that calves are sufficiently nourished from an early age. Records also show that Highland is actually the oldest registered breed in the world. Mahdi. The Asian elephant, Elephus maximus, and the African elephant, Loxodonta africana, are not only regarded as different species, but also belonging to different genus. Crossbreeds between two individuals, belonging to the same genus but different species, are in most cases sterile. So when the Asian elephant cow Sheba in Chester Zoo, England, gave birth to a calf with an African elephant bull Jumbolino as father, they the both, sign... They both look like regular elephants. They both is regular elephants. What is they over here doing all these weird words? Jumbolina, Maximus, Glutamus, all this freaking stuff. They elephants. This became puzzled. The staff had observed several mating between the elephants, but since a cross was impossible, no one expected a delivery. The male calf named Mahdi had an African elephant's chief 
while nail numbers and the single trunk finger were like Asians. This sensational elephant died two weeks after the birth due to stomach problems. Dang! The Moulard. This is the piece displayed three, which is used for the purpose of quality meat production. Oh, I ain't just gonna show the, show the ducks walking around and just show them dead, roasted, looking good, hanging up on, on somebody, somebody's shelf, huh? That's disrespectful. Birds breed moulard, not meat in an open environment. They grow only in large poultry farms or small household farms. They're very simple because they're not only whimsical and grow well on usual green grass and vegetables. Another less important feature is their quiet nature. Moulards don't get nervous. After all, when a duck gets nervous or worried, it begins to emit different sounds. When the whole pack of them begins sounding, that's sometimes bad for man. But this lovely duck is much quieter. The Kai Dog. The Kai Dog is a mix between the wild coyote and the domestic dog. They usually have very piercing eyes. They are said not to be very playful or outgoing. Anyone keeping one of these dogs needs to be 100% firm, confident, and a consistent pack leader. This animal needs someone who understands natural dog behavior and will work with the instincts. Okay, they're basically just putting a dog and a dog together and calling it something else. Both of them, a coyote is a dog and a dog is a dog. So just say you put two dogs together. So the dog. Thai dogs are not a good choice of a pet for most people, as they don't have the knowledge regarding natural canine instincts and are not strong-minded enough to take on one of these animals. The mule bird. The British finches are made up of several species of finch which were formerly very popular as cage birds in Great Britain. They're not currently commonplace, but are still kept by a few dedicated fanciers. During the Victorian era, it was found that if a British finch, such as a goldfinch, was crossed with a canary, the result was an attractive looking, good singing bird. So two birds put together? Okay, at this point in this video, we're just putting a whole bunch of regular stuff. This is regular. It's just two birds clapping. That's, I see that every day outside. The, the birds be on top of each other humping and stuff. This ain't nothing new. The resulting birds were sterile, but continue to be bred to this day under the name of mules. Many clubs specialize in mules. Also, around this time, a few people began to experiment crossing British finches. The breeding of such hybrids can, however, be notoriously difficult. The Golden Crocodile. Golden Crocodile. Hybrid of a saltwater crocodile and a Siamese crocodile. The Philippines. So a crocodile and a crocodile? I don't. I, this is wasting my freaking time at this point. A crocodile and a crocodile. Wow. So freaking amazing. Now what is this? Another freaking horse thing? Another another buffalo? The stupid. Bulls in both pure bison cows and bison cattle hybrid cows. As with many other specific crosses, only female hybrids were found to be fertile. Few mm. of the hybrids survive, and the experiments remain discontinued. What's the last one? Magnolia. Okay, what the f what the f what the f is this? What is this? Huh? This look like a pig that got a jerry curl for no freaking reason. Magalica. Mag galica. A magalica. One of the fattiest pigs in the world, compared to over 50% in modern breeds. But that meat is considered among the tastiest pork in the world. The meat of the Magnolica pig is reddish, highly marbled with a creamy white fat, and is high in omega-3 fatty acids and natural antioxidants. This is due to the natural diet of forage, wheat, corn, and barley. Its lard is lighter and melts at a lower temperature than lard from other pigs. It contains more unsaturated fat. In Hungary, most Magnolica pork becomes sausage or salami. Because of the high fat content, cured pork products can spend a longer time drying, which deepens the flavor without losing moisture. If you were about to breed a new species, what two would those be? Let us... In the beginning, it was good. Towards the end, they just started telling me regular stuff. A dog and a dog, a bird and a bird, a, 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 a horse and a horse, a zebra and, a, and every other animal that can freaking get it to clap. I guess zebras are the, are the freaking thotties of um, the animal kingdom. They just clapping anything at this point. You know what was really cool? The, the bear. Not cool. I'm confused about the bears. How did they get the two bears to clap? That's what I'm confused about. Because, like, the brown bear, how you, like, force it? Like, not even force it. Do they force it? Or do they just, like, give them some pink pill? They do the pink pill prank on them. Put it inside, they drink, and all of a sudden, all you hear is rawr, rawr, rawr. they're going to steal it. That's crazy. But anyways, that's the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you like right now. You know what I'm saying? Let me know in the comments down below. What crazy hybrid animals have you heard of? Because I've heard of a a, a, a liger. You know what I'm saying? That's a lion and a tiger. That should have been in here. Them drones be fire. The lion and the tiger, those hybrids is fire. Ooh, the cheetah and the lion when that one was heat. 
that one was heat. I, I do want that. I do need that, actually. Uh, what else was cool? That was, I think that was it, honestly. They should breed a lion and a dog. That would probably look stupid. Never mind. I'm just talking at this point. But let me know what y'all think down in the comments down below. If you want me to react to anything that you want me to react to, I don't know why I said it like that. Instagram over there, at Juver underscore now saying, DM me the link to the video. And if I react to it, I shout you out inside the video. Send me something interesting though. Because people be sending me videos and I be looking at them and then I be like, I don't want to watch this. They be sending me stuff that's like not interesting. I like watching interesting stuff. This was interesting in the, in the beginning, but towards the end it just got boring a whole bunch of dog and dog, cow and cow, a bunch of stupidness. Just a waste of my time. But free dip out, enjoy that comment by two of their free below season videos. And I'm gonna see. Yo, C3, so fly, hop out the butterfly. Wings to the sky, no, I'm never borderline. They choose I, cause I'm way above you. The waves make the haters love you when the ladies come through.